Hey, what's good everyone? Today we're gonna take a detailed look at the Nike MX-90 in a recraft iteration which released on January 16, 2020 and we're gonna jump into the details right after the break. So the MX-90 was set to release on January 16th, but only the women's size is released. The men's size got postponed to January 30th. And all of a sudden, yesterday, this dropped on the sneakers app, only to select members. And I was one of the lucky ones. So I put it into my car, checked out, and it already arrived today. So very, very quick shipping by Nike here. It seems like you really have your ordering system down, really appreciate it. I was really looking forward to this to release because I really wanted to review. So here they are and Nike claims these have been recrafted more towards the OG. I'm not sure if I'm the right person to do a full comparison on this one on how OG this is and how it compares to all the other ones and if this is good or bad or not or whatever. Um, I think in the end you have to look at it for what it is. All in all, I think Nike has done a rather good job with this one. Um, there are some very apparent changes. For one, it is the shape of the toe box. It is slimmer and more streamlined. Also the mudguard here in black, you can see that it's a little bit more narrow, a little bit thinner here as well. And the collar here is cut lower as well. Especially the latest versions of it have been cut a little bit higher. And uh, this might be a little bit more comparable to the OG, whereas I think the OG was a little bit high on the color as well. But like I said, in the end, it does not really matter that much because I think they did a good job and it's still looking good. It's probably one of the better looking ones that they have put out in a while because I really do enjoy that the toe box is slimmer and a little bit more streamlined, uh, which looks very, very good on foot. Um, one thing they changed and did not improve, that was the box. They gave this shoe a vintage box or vintage looking box, which looks like this. It's a lot more narrow and it's the same size for all shoe sizes. And the thing is, if you have a big size like me and the shoes are positioned like this in the box, then the toe box here is getting pushed into the heel. Then you're getting a really nasty crease here in the toe box. I hope this is gonna be possible to iron out or it's going to straighten out over time um, but I think this wasn't really necessary especially if you are going through your archive of boxes I have a box from 1995 which is already improvement over the one from 1990 if this is from 1990 if this is from 95 it's about an inch longer no it's about half an inch longer so that gives you enough room inside enough clearance for the shoes not to squeeze into another. That's no Icarus in the size 13. No problems here. No creases and nothing. So not all changes are for the better or an improvement. And this box definitely isn't. But let's get back to the shoe. Materials. Of course, materials are nothing special. This is an all synthetic upper. But quality wise, this is something that you will also find on the Nike Amex 1 anniversary. You have a synthetic leather here on the mudguard. You have a synthetic suede or felt material here on the, on the gray part. Um, it is also comparable to the Nike Amex 1 anniversary. The mesh feels nice to the touch. Also quality wise, the same thing. Um, you have your typical plastic parts here on the lacing area. You have your rubberized heel patch at the back with a Nike logo. And of course, the Nike bubble in white with purple paint around it on the white midsole, black and purple outsole. And that's basically it. If you're familiar with the MX-90, your typical MX-90. Shape is a little different. I think it looks really, really good on foot. Really have to admit that even though the changes are not completely original to the OG, but I think all in all, this has become a nice recrafted job. Most important question, of course, sizing. How do these fit? I got two sizes, my true size and half size up, and I'm probably going to stick with the true size. It is not a true, true size. It seems to be a little bit shorter, but going up a half size will give you a little bit more room here in the, in the toe box, of course. 
Uh, the width is not even dramatic because it's a narrow shoe to begin with. But just the thing is here in the four foot section, it will get a little bit more loose and tying them uh, is going to create a crease here in the lacing section, which I do not really like. Also going true to size is going to give me that perfect shape, especially when you're doing a toe push and it will just look a lot better when you wear it. Just an awesome shape, just how you want it. Um, and that's basically it, my buying recommendation. I'm sure Nike is going to release a lot of these. I'm sure they produce many of these of the four colorways that have just released or are going to release. And um, I do not like to say that, but eventually one of the other colorway is going to end up on sale. If you really want to get just one Amex 90, I would probably wait to the more popular colorways, the OG colorways especially the infrared. Um, I do think though this is a banging colorway. I really love the purple on it. Uh, I think purple on a shoe is one of my favorite. So really glad that they released something like this. Um, but if you just want to get one MX90 to keep in your collection, then I would probably wait or grab these if they are going on sale. That's that for the Nike MX90 for today. And I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think about this release. How OG is this really? If you are familiar with the MX90, let me know. If you know about the changes that they made or how close it is to OG, let me know down in the comments. I'm really curious on what you have to say. And I will see you in the next video. So thanks for watching. Until next time, bye bye.